is it going boys and girls? Welcome back to Key West Waterman. What? Oh, that's how you did for my rod. <laughs> How is it going, boys and girls? Welcome back to Key West Waterman. My name is Aaron Young. Early morning. Uh, today we have commercial quantities of fish on the brain. The market needs fish. The Wahoo went off yesterday. Um, and we are out here. We're out here early because it's probably going to be a cluster. But that is the plan. May not be a lot of topside talking. <clears throat> Shooting for Wahoo and then we're going to maybe try a grouper in the afternoon. So we'll see. Come along with us. Let's rock and roll. I'll grab a hold of his buoy. Welcome back, everybody. Um, real quick, I'm actually not going to narrate this episode. I'm coming off 14 straight days on the boat. I am exhausted. Uh, this is my first evening off, and I'm editing. But a couple quick reminders. New episodes every Monday, 6 p.m. Be sure to tune in, um, and be sure to hit the like button, please. I know it's annoying, but it helps a ton. And if you like the commercial breakdown, uh, stay tuned till the end, and I tell you how much money we made this day. Enjoy. I don't know. I just split my shit with my gun. Watch your head on me here. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, baby. First one of the day. I had the flashlight in my hand, so I one-handed the gun. And I just, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just flipped my lip bad. Oh, man. Uh-uh. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Get him in the water. There's like 60 right here. Get get Louie in the water.
Good? Louis, here they come, get ready. DJ You're about to get bit! You're about to get a bite! Did you get yours in? No! Oh no! The glue should reset then. I literally watched that fish from me, from where I was take off. And I'm not lying to you, 50 mile an hour, and chase that lure. I have never in my life seen a wahoo swim that fast. That was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. He missed one. There was another 100. <laughs> DJ's over there hooking them on the boat. <laughs> Fish on. One on the lure, got two in the water. Go pick them up.
you get yours in? Yeah. My dog. How many is that? It's a lot of small, smaller fish though. Should we shoot two more? I can have 500 pounds. Oh, you caught one? Yeah. Dude! <laughs> it is going slap off. You see, I busted my lip with my gun. I got excited, but the back is full. We have to open up the reserves up here. I may put that at the house. Ooh. I'm gonna have to change this specter out when I get home. That one's got a little more size. shot him in the booty because he was a little bigger. Holy moly. This happens several times a year. Sometimes it's just you land on the right day. As you can tell, word gets out. There's boats all over the place. But um, yeah, I think we have 11 or 12 maybe. It's nine o'clock. Um, and if this is your first time watching, all this fish is going to the market, it's going to supply the local restaurants, the locals. Uh, none of this fish is going to go to waste. It's sold and keeps me working, keeps people working. And it's a hell of a lot of fun. My record actually is, um, I think it was 11 fish by 11 a.m. It is 9.02. I think we have 11 or 12. So we're going to try and pop one or two more. And um, I think we're going to hit the reef. So swap some of those bottom ones out for him. Throw them in there and then pull the other ones out. Like, yeah, we're we gotta be close. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for grouper. Woo! 
<laughs> my dog. We are done here. My commercial limit's 500 pounds. Can't really weigh them out here, but I've got a ballpark and I've got to be at least close to 400, 450. So we're not going to go over. We're going to head into the reef and try and plug a few fish. It's only 9.30 a.m. So far, decent day. So our legs are completely shot, to be completely honest. It's becoming unsafe to dive, so. We're gonna call it. We got one grouper, one button. I'm God, I don't even know how many wahoos, so. We're gonna head to the market. Oh, okay. I was about to say. So we are done here. I said it before, say it again. If you are in the lower keys and you're not getting out on the boat and you want some fresh seafood, Keys Fresh Seafood here on Stock Islands where I sell all my fish. Um, owned and operated by fishermen. Stop by, uh, tell them I sent you. You'll still pay full price, but at least you'll know it's fresh. Once I get the check, I will let you guys know. And, um, Check back in. See ya. What's everybody doing? Tuna. Meow. Alrighty, I'm back. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Quite honestly, the most insane day of Wahoo spearfishing I've ever had. Um, I think it was last year or two years ago, we shot 11 by 11 a.m., but I did not have my camera on me, and holy moly, was that wild. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, before you skip forward, I have a question for you guys and I need some feedback on it. I know you guys really like these profit breakdowns and I don't do a ton of commercial stuff. So I got to thinking the YouTube videos themselves are starting to make a little bit of money. Um, man, it's nothing crazy. It's nothing I'm, I'm not really trying to hide or anything. But if you guys are curious on how much money the videos bring in each week, I could maybe figure out how to do that in the following episode. I'd have to figure out the details on how to share that information. But if that's something you'd be interested in sharing, leave a comment, let me know. Um, happy to share that stuff with you guys. I don't know whether you're nosy or curious. I don't know what the difference is, but I'm happy to share it if you're interested. Um, but I've got our commercial numbers here. Uh, and I've been getting a little more vague with these and it's mainly out of respect for the market. Uh, the prices of fish down here and markets in general everywhere are very competitive. So I don't want to throw the market I sell to under the bus by letting everyone, the competing markets, know what their prices are. So uh, for that reason, these numbers are going to be a smidge vague, but essentially you get the idea. So went out, smashed Wahoo. We ran in to do some grouper and snapper. We got in there, I think we shot one or two groupers, I can't remember. Um, and we were so shot, it just it wasn't worth our time. It was honestly unsafe to dive. Our legs were so shot from the morning. But... We ended up with around 400 pounds of wahoo, uh, around 30 pounds of grouper, and a small mutton snapper for a ballpark total sale of about $2,100. Yeah, that never happens. So this is your first time watching. I'm not going out there and making two grand every single day. Um, expenses, gas was about 200 bucks. So all in all, the boat profited, daily profit. Um, as I say, this doesn't go all into the bank account. This keeps the business running, boat running smoothly daily profit of $1,900. Um, and I think this is probably our biggest ever uh, on an episode that I've filmed. Um, just without a doubt, a spectacular day. Uh, it was just, it was really unbelievable. You saw the footage. There was more Wahoo than I had ever seen. I literally could have sank the boat and fish. Um, ran out of ice out of respect for the market and respect for the fish. I'm not going to bring them fish that are kind of mistreated and uniced. The meat gets kind of gnarly if it sits out uh, for too long. Um, so we called it a day, made a happy buck, and the rest is history. So that's all I got for this one. I'm enjoying a cold beverage on my wonderful balcony. I had 14 straight days on the boat. Um, just a little tired, but I've got some inclement weather moving in next week, so I'm going to have some days off. If there is anything you guys would like to see that 
uh, doesn't require going on the boat some type of rig spear gun breakdown um, anything any information something like that i don't know leave me a comment let me know what you'd like to see that i can do on land uh, the wind's gonna blow 25 30 knots for a week but other than that be sure to hit like um thank you guys so much for your time seriously having a blast doing this having a blast talking to you all uh, and i will see you on the next one later